I'm Pastor Sam, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we're going to have a great time today because we're going to be thinking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We're th looking at the great I Ams of the Lord, and today it's going to be I Am the Resurrection and the Life. So call your friends. We're going to have a great thrill as we see what Jesus has done. We're reading from John chapter 11 today. If you have your Bibles, I know some of you do. And you have your Bible there, and you're all set, and you, even some of you get dressed up with Sunday clothes on, and uh, boy, we got people coming to church, they don't, well, don't, let's not get into that. But they, 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 you can read it with us just like, like you're in church, and maybe you're with your husband and your wife, and you know we have some beautiful stories of a husband and wife, and they worship together. They couldn't go to church, they can't get out, no possible way. And they worship with us, and all of a sudden, one of them is taken home. And then the remaining spouse stays behind and worships with us. She's alone now. But now that husband isn't very far, that wife isn't very far, because heaven is only a breath away, one little breath. They're that close. And so we're just happy that you can share the scriptures with us. And then in our prayer today, we always pray for the persecuted church. We're going to pray for the persecuted church in China. So Jesus tells then in verse 14, chapter 11, 14, Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For I, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. To the intent ye may believe, nevertheless let us go unto them. Then said Thomas, which is called Didymus, unto his fellow disciples, Let us also go that we may die with him. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave four days already. Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about 15 furlongs off. And many of the Jews came to Mary and Martha to comfort them uh, concerning their brother. Then Martha was, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went out and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it to thee. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know he'll rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in him shall never die. Believest thou this? She saith unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which came into the world. And when he had said, she had so said, she went her way and called Mary her sister secretly, saying, The Master is come and calleth for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this passage of Scripture, such a beautiful passage of this man Lazarus, and he has his brother and sister, Mary and Martha. Jesus spent a lot of time in that home, and now Lazarus is dead, and then you've come on the scene. And you, by your great and mighty power, you raised him from the grave. And as we look at this story today, Lord, we see this great, I am the resurrection and the life. And we rejoice that we have a Redeemer, we have a Savior, we have a Founder who is not in the grave somewhere, but he was in the grave but is raised from the grave. And you are alive forever. And it is our prayer that, Heavenly Father, all of those who listen to us today and worship with us will put their faith in Jesus. And that they have, if they haven't received you, they're dead in their sins. And they can't go where Jesus goes. They have to go where the devil goes. And you're talking to them right now. And you're telling them, they're just, they're just got a feeling. They're not hearing a voice or anything. But they just know, I need Jesus. I want Jesus. I want to go to heaven. And so they can just help them to make that prayer. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Save me for Christ's sake. And oh, may multitudes do that. And Lord, we're praying for the persecuted church today. And we think of how, the, especially in China, and we know that the lives are being given up because of their stand for you. And we know the church is openly persecuted in China as it is in many parts of the world. 
and so give them strength and help them to know that all over the world lord wherever this program goes and it goes all over the world we're praying for them and we're praying that they'll be strong and they'll be true and they'll wear the martyr's crown and we'll see them in heaven and we care and lord maybe they could pray for us because in some parts of the world the church is only lukewarm and jesus is ready to spit of us out of his mouth lest we have a revival so they can pray for us too so now lord this is your service we pray you'll bless us and help us as we worship you in this in and looking to the savior in jesus name amen